Shalom, family. Happy Sabbath day. I hope everybody's doing good. Today we are talking about younger generations. The younger generation are going to go through worse, way worse than us when we were young. Technology enhancing, getting more better. A lot of people becoming lazier. People, the matrix giving us things to follow our feelings, like going to the store. Now we don't have to go to the store. We can just order food online. We're we're becoming lazier. People are becoming lazy. And for the younger generation too, are going to be more lazier. These things were supposed to discipline us. Because if you want a woman, you go out there and socialize and talk, not go online dating, none of that. Another thing is buying food. A lot of people buy food online or they go to a store, just pick up, but they don't want to do the hard work, which is going to the store. You make a list, you go to the store and buy food inside the store. You go inside, pick the food, put it in the cart, and then pay. But now people don't want to do that. People want to stay home, chill, and not do nothing. And this is all China. China set us up. China made all these things because China, they're jealous of America. They want to see America fail. They want to see us fail. So they're making technology. They're making these things to us, for us, and they offer for us to see us fail. That's the worst thing of China. For the younger generation, there's more hoes, more homosexual boys. As kids, they're exposing more kids, sexualizing them, having drag queens dancing in front of little kids, grown men touching little kids. In the future, they're promoting to pedophiles. This is promoting pedophiles in the future. Because now the only that's not the only thing is they make outfits for the kids to promote pedophiles. But you have you teaching these things. You got sexy red teaching teaching the kids their song, her song. Ski ye. The definition of ski ye is when you're drunk or when you when you're high, and you're calling out a woman, like you're calling out an attractive person by screaming. When you're drunk, when you're high, when you're drugged out. That's ski ye. And she talks about because in the music industry, how do women get up high in the skyrocket? They become popular. The music industry promote them. They hide their secrets and stuff. As long as you're working for the music industry, you're working for them. They keep they keep all your secrets but if you refuse or something they expose your secrets like they tell all your secrets and spread it so which is like one person gave advice to Logan Paul like he you can see that he doesn't wanna he doesn't like he sees the red flag in her like he doesn't like that's what some people say but like I can see his face man that he is uncomfortable he's in a situation that if he makes he makes one choice I mean either way he makes either choice he's gonna lose people I mean he if he breaks up with this girl people will shame him get mad at him he will lose more people but if he stays with her and gets married then he's also gonna lose people but not much as but I we recommend him to go to WWE because the WWE they keep secrets 
of personal life of that person they don't spread it so he goes so like go to WWE and break up with her and your personal secrets will be kept you won't be exposed you won't lose people you may lose some but yeah just do that okay Ski Yi went to school Sexy Red went to school and sang her song in front of the kids and the kids were singing it and they were turned without knowing what the lyrics actually means Ski Yi this young generation is getting worse because you don't only got grown men touching kids and women but they're oppressing them and then they become homosexual they become hoes in the future they dress inappropriately as kids dressing inappropriately definitely promoted to pedophiles and we need to watch out how we dress our daughters because Bible says if you dress your daughter like a prostitute your daughter will be a whore and the world will be full of horror and wickedness this is the time we're living in full of whores and wickedness in this world they're attacking us and I need you to promise that you are going to stay to the end. Ten toes down. I'm ten toes down. Stay till the end. Fight and fight and fight. Nowadays, getting married is like you get married. And then a couple of years later, you you have cancer, you're in a hospital or something. Your wife either wants to divorce you or she tells you that the kids, the kids aren't his. And that makes it worse for him. So you got to be careful out here, man. Because it's tough. And falling for a woman. We're not supposed to fall deep in the woman. Deep in love. Because you know. How do you know it's, if it's the right woman? Because. How her parents discipline her. How her parents strict. How, how strict are the parents? If the parents are strict. And she has a father figure. A dad then it's a good sign but if she doesn't have a dad then it's a little hard but she becomes masculine she goes through stuff for some problems and she seeks help but she seeks in another way becoming masculine lesbian or becoming a hoe sleeping with other men looking for father figures but say she has her parents are strict she doesn't have social media because women have options through social media so if she doesn't have social media her parents are strict her parents don't let her go out like that much um let's see another one how she dress if she dressed like a hoe she act like a hoe i'm gonna say it one more time she dress like a hoe, she act like a hoe. And guess what? We treat she gets treated like a hoe. Oh man. She gets treated like a hoe. No one takes her serious. And then when she hit 30 years old, where are the good men at? And then they cry, make fake videos and they cry. Fake cry. And they fake everything. You also got to be careful that. A woman may. Also. 
act. Especially religion. If you into religion, she'll act religion. She'll fulfill your dream. And then suddenly she breaks your heart. And they're wicked. I'm not saying all, but they're wicked. They fulfill your dream. Housewife, kids, a family that you desire. And then one day she leaves or she cheats on, she cheats on you. And your heart's broken. Sadness. Or maybe the kids ain't yours. And they're putting a new law that if you don't, if the kid's not yours, you pay child support anyway. Because there was one video that the dude, the kid wasn't his, and then he he don't want to pay child support on a kid that ain't his. And he showed her the paper, the DNA, and the judge says someone got to pay child support. So he went to prison, license got suspended, and yeah, lost in, he lost his car insurance, his insurance. So, sad, it's a sad thing, man. And you know what? Like, the more people, because a lot of people are coming to the truth. They're coming to the truth. A lot of people are coming to the truth. The more people that come to the truth, the harder that the matrix make for people to come to the truth. So you see that they're pushing the LGBTQ agenda in schools, taking out Bibles in schools. Um, people talk about Jesus and they attack him. The people that speak up and stand up, Donald Trump, Elon Musk. Who was it? Russell Brand, Andrew Tate. Um, people that talk about Jesus, they're getting attacked. I'm also, the Matrix all attack me too. Mentally, physically, spiritual, I get attacked too. But, yeah, they don't want us to talk about these things. They want to confuse the kids and they want to make it harder, harder for them to come to the truth. Doja Cat talking about demonic music and then kids are hearing it and it's on the radio what is this man they make it harder for the kids for the next generation for a purpose to confuse them they don't want to talk to them about God and this year a lot of people are getting converted like I see people getting converted to God they praying to God and stuff less Catholic more Christians I guess you can say Christians are the most they make it harder we escape the matrix. The more people, they make it hard to, they make it harder for the younger generation to escape the matrix. And this is the time we're living in where abortion is good, the bad is good, and the good is bad. We live in that time. Because a lot of people are coming to the truth. And we help people. We spread the truth and we help people. But people, when people spread the truth, they get attacked. They get censored and everything. YouTube has control of the algorithm. So if you make a video about speaking the truth, they may censor you or ban you, or they also can do this, less views. Or don't, they don't promote your videos. They don't spread your videos. They just, even if you put hashtag, 
they leave it like that, your video. So just be ready. Your kids, teach your kids because your school will not teach the kids. Your school will teach your kids to be a homosexual and will teach your daughters to be whores and to practice whoredom in the street and dressing prostitution. You want to dress your daughters modest. You want to dress them modest because the all all this started was dressing your daughters this all started by dressing your daughters you dress your daughters like a whore no man will respect them no man will respect them because why you see a daughter with tight pants with tight shirt and another thing is a man looks at that he's not he's not thinking about love marriage he's thinking about sex he's thinking about sexual stuff lusting he's now lust after her lust that ain't love in the dating app i think i said this before they made dating apps but you think dating apps work <laughs> like the men most men they go in dating apps because they want sex they want to hook up like that's that's the that's the main reason why they have dating apps men for women well women that like in their 30s trying to look for a man he ain't gonna find one because the man ain't gonna take you serious yeah i'm not saying this because i'm anti-woman now, women should have rights, right? The rights to speak, rights of speech, the right to vote. We need their opinion and we need our, we need men's opinion and we need women's opinion. And yeah, that's correct. Like, you got Rosa Park and stuff speaking. And yeah, that is okay. We need our women, our sisters, to teach our kids. I mean, to teach their kids, not our kids. Their kids. In school, church, wherever you are. Teach your kids the truth. Teach your kids to dress modest. You got a lot of work to do, sisters. Yeah, I'm not saying that to disrespect you. Yeah, I'm saying this in a nice way. So you guys know. We are going to help you. We're going to help y'all sisters. Because the kids need to have a father. Because at the end of the day, the father will make the kid masculine and we need masculine men emotional men causes rape shooting killing violence mass shooting school shooting emotional men becomes homosexual and wears a dress and they starting to normalize that in sports too people are distracted from the truth Because they they don't know the truth. They don't know anything about this because they're distracted by TV shows, movies, sports, especially sports. Football has been so populated, so intense, like never before. Like you realize that football has been like so intense. Everybody's going crazy, killing, shooting. Not only that, but robbing stores and stuff. Like, you seen the news. They going crazy over sport, over football. People distracted like never before in football. 
and you know they they know how to promote it they know how to do all that that's why they do it they have deals and discounts and stuff not only football but soccer basketball but football's the most like never before a lot of people they're pulling a lot of people man and super bowl they're gonna put some stuff and then everybody's gonna talk about it uh, da, 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 da. and they live their life having sex being hoes spreading their legs the hell is this man like you talk about it oh da, da, da. like it was this this person did that oh really this person wore this the concert was red oh that's hell and then you continue to live your life like speak against the truth like you see you see like this thing about the concert and then and then you start to get used to it you're like eh, not so bad you get used to it you're like oh you know they're trying to help people promoting demonic no they're not demonic is bad the devil comes to kill steal and destroy so teach your kids brothers and sisters I love your brothers and sisters all race, all kinds. It don't matter. I love you all. Because the Bible says, love thy neighbor. And you should practice loving thy neighbors. Because I love all. All race, black, white, Chinese, Japanese, all. Anything you can imagine. In the name of Jesus, I see you. Happy Sabbath day and enjoy your Sabbath. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. I pray for all of y'all. May God bless you.